Okay, warming testicles only slightly can quickly lead to male infertility. That's a report at Study Finds. All right, guys. <laughs> this might get a little nuts here, but we have to talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just uncomfortable talking about this stuff, so I might dive into some of the common vernacular of the day rather than all the medical terms. Colder is better when it comes to male fertility, regardless of shrinkage. Now, not crazy cold. Let's get into the study, shall we, and see what it says. Researchers in Japan have found that even slight changes in the temperature of your beans and franks can quickly result in a failure to produce healthy little swimmers. Now, the family jewels contain numerous thin, slightly coiled tubes called seminiferous tubules, which is way less fun to say than all my other terms I'm using here. I'm still 12, I guess. The new study found that at 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit, spermatogenesis is able to successfully produce healthy sperm. That's why your coin purse is on the outside, gents, because at temperatures between 98.6 and 100.4, this process severely breaks down. Specifically, the process which splits chromosomes into sperm, that's called meiosis, begins to malfunction. Damaged cells also start to undergo cell death, leading to infertility. And nobody wants that. Scientists found this out by culturing mouse testes at different temperatures. The team discovered that the spermatogenesis fails in several stages as temperatures rise from 86 degrees to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. You're looking at a chart and a pic of the mouse culture here in the lower right. Just a note, 32 degrees Celsius is a about 89.6 Fahrenheit, and 35 degrees Celsius is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. On a side note, we don't have a pic of the really pissed off mice, but we do thank them for their service. <laughs> In terms of meiosis dysfunction, which we talked about earlier, the ability to repair DNA double strand breaks and homologous chromosome pairing breaks down between 98.6 and 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. These two abilities are necessary for proper chromosome segregation. As always, talk to your doctor and feel free to use any of the medical terms I used in this report. They will be impressed. They especially like the term schnutz. <laughs> That's from the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, by the way. Just <laughs> saying. All right, I know it's a serious subject, and really, you should get some advice. I am not a medical professional. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking in the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.